2023 has begun and it's going fast. The camera market is going even faster. New cameras and lenses are popping like mushrooms of the rain. We are used to getting new things and often forget about past ones. Sometimes the gear we are offered is not much better than the one that came out years before. As a 35mm focal length lover, I just had to make a video about Sony's 35mm 1.8 full frame lens. Everyone knows the specs, and I'm more into the soul of the gear, so I'll just cut to the chase. This lens came out in 2019 and it's still one of my favorites. Considering the current price, the build quality and maximum aperture, it's one of the best Sony lenses on the market dedicated to photography amateurs and semi-professionals. This really light and compact lens with lightning fast AF stays on my Sony a7 II for most of the time. I shoot pictures and videos with it, and I'm always impressed by the image quality it serves, even at fully open aperture. Most of my magazine shots were made with this lens. Its classy rendering makes it a very versatile lens. If you shoot street photography and portraits, you should definitely consider this lens. The focusing ring, even though it's a focus by wire, still impresses me for its smooth and very precise operation. So manual focus is actually possible with this lens. The AF motor is basically silent, so it's great for video with the on-camera mic shots too. The focus breathing is really low surprisingly low in my opinion and it can focus as close as 22 centimeters so it's really nice for those close-up shots the focusing happens internally so the lens doesn't change its length during operation a great feature for gimbal users the lens is sharp wide open and has a very minimal distortion the vignetting is barely visible so it's fit for those landscape shots too. I'm actually waiting for the Sony a7C price drop, so I will probably ditch my a6100 for a hybrid full frame setup based on the Sony's 35 1.8. But even on my good old a7 II, this lens still performs really well, and you can have this setup for like 1400 US dollars, brand new these days. Yes, Sony still makes A7 II, and it beats the crap out of the Canon's RP. P.S. Not a Sony fanboy. This lens is basically the only lens I do not plan selling. It's that good. Really. It's not a sponsored video or anything, but as a 35mm focalist, I highly recommend the Sony FE35 1.8. Yeah, just get one. And keep on shooting. See you on the next video.